Good morning and welcome to our final liturgy of our school year. What a year this has been. From going to school with masks on and learning in different cohorts to going back online, only to be repeated later on this year. Our grade nines have had quite a different start to high school than they ever could have imagined. Our grade 12s have had a very different finish to high school than they could ever imagine. Some of us may really be enjoying the course that we're in and like studying from home. And some of us might be feeling stressed out and ready to finish our last class of the year. The good news is that whatever we may be feeling in this moment, we trust that God is with us. We join together this morning as a Holy Cross community to celebrate our Catholic faith, to be strengthened by God's word, to be inspired by Father Tom's homily, and to bring to mind all of God's blessings that we are grateful for. We are grateful for all of our staff and students and their further commitment and perseverance. For our custodians who work so hard to keep our schools safe and clean. For our friends and family, for their love and support. We are also grateful, grateful for many other things that bring us comfort and joy. Our pets, spending time in nature, and we're grateful for music and art and exercise. Above all, we are grateful to God for his unconditional love for each of us. We ask for God's blessings upon all of us as we finish off our school year and head into our summer break. Let us begin our liturgy with giving God praise in song. the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will say.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, consider this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves the cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You are being enriched in every way for all generosity, which through us produces thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Bless the man who fears the Lord. The response, Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. The response, Bless the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. The response, bless the man who fears the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The response, bless the man who fears the Lord. Hi, Father Tom here. Um, just uh, coming to you for your end of the year school service. And uh, it's been one heck of a year for all of you. You've been in my prayers as your chaplain and will continue to be so during the summer months. And I pray that you all remain safe and in good health and, uh, and know that the good Lord loves you very much. Um, today I'd like to uh, read a scripture passage to you. Um, and it's about a healing that Jesus does. And so let me read it and then I'll explain why I chose that scripture passage. Jesus and the apostles came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and the large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling to you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? I chose this particular scripture passage because I truly believe that Bartimaeus experience much of what, or even more, of what we experienced this past year and couple months. In his life, there must have been a, a heck of a lot of, of um, loneliness and feeling disconnected from people. You can imagine sitting by the side of the road, day in and day out, people passing by you, not even recognizing you. He truly experienced the loneliness in a very, in a very personal way, in a very tragic way. And yet, Jesus recognized him. Jesus acknowledged his existence. And that's really important because Jesus acknowledges us. He acknowledges you. Our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, loves you personally. And he invites you, as he invited Bartimaeus, 
into a relationship with Him. A relationship that can bring peace and joy, that can give us a sense of, of serenity within our lives, even when there's chaos, even when there's a pandemic. Interestingly enough, Bartimaeus threw off his cloak. This past year and a half, I think many of us had to realize that throwing off the cloak for us might have been doing things differently and going in a different direction than we expected. There's also other ways in which we need to throw our cloaks off. This past year, I find that many people may have become a little grumpy. And so we need to throw off those cloaks that have driven us to be more selfish and to be selfless. And to be able to go forward knowing that Christ has been with us all the way through this. Bartimaeus knew, must have known about Jesus in his heart more deeply than we can imagine. And that's what Jesus wants for all of you. Yes, this is the end of the year. It's been a difficult year for all of us and continues to be in some ways. But Jesus calls to you as he calls to as he called to Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Reflect on that question over the summer. Give some thought to it. Pray over it. What do you want Jesus to do for you? And when you find the answer, turn to him, the one who loves you most, and he will certainly guide you. God bless and rest assured in my continued prayers. In response to our prayer is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church that we, the people of God, will be instruments of God's love, compassion, and reconciliation for our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Cross school community. We give thanks to God for this past school year, as difficult as it was. In a special way, we give God thanks for our grade 12 students and the many gifts they have shared with our school over the past four years. May God send his blessings upon all of our students and staff in the summer months. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we pray for anyone who is suffering in the mind, body, or spirit. May they find comfort in that knowing that God will always be by their side. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our family members and friends who have died. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of eternal life. We place our hope in the promise of their resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We entrust all of our prayers to our loving God, those spoken out loud and those prayers that we hold in our hearts. We join now in praying the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving God, thank you for the opportunity to gather in your name. We ask you to bless our students and staff over the summer months. May we find time for rest, reflection, and joy. May we continue to seek your face and serve our sisters and brothers in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lately I've been really watching the nightly news. Don't seem to find the rhythm. Just want to sing the blues Feels like a song that never stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire fire back in my bones Before my heart heart turns into stone So when somebody please pass the megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three